Hey guys, uh, my name's Jana. It's 3 a.m. I just got off of work from the animal ER. Um, so I'm going to slip into something a little bit more comfy and chat with you guys about the spiny flower manta. Hey guys, so I am going to talk to you guys about housing, um, about basic scientific information and the do not do's if you are planning to keep a flower a spiny flower mantis as we all know mantis are uh, very infamous for being carnivorous and after mating they will eat their own partner typically the female eats the male <laughs> Legolas can't quick scope for shit. Live about six months to a year. So if you're wanting a pet that lives a really long time, uh, like a tortoise, like our lifetime, this is not the pet for you. But I do find that it's a good, easy commitment for people that don't want a long responsibility, but maybe just for a little phase. Um, I like to only have one mantis at a time just because they are a lot of work uh, but they're not a massive commitment um, mainly to take care of a mantis you are going to be spraying their tank twice a day um, and then also keeping them somewhat in a humid space typically they like to be in a 60% humidity range um, but too much humidity can cause infection, so you don't want to do too much humidity. Um, it can really seriously affect them and kill them. Cool. I tend to keep my mantis in my, um, my sink area by my shower, so that after a shower they get a good bout of humidity. I've never had issues with my mantis in that sense. They generally thrive and again, they are a commitment, but they're not so severely challenging that you are going to have to change your lifestyle. Each molt has a pretty substantial change. Uh, I also own tarantulas and even when they molt, you know, they'll get maybe a half inch bigger. But these guys, uh, the first time I had a mantis, once it molted, I thought it was dead. Um, it ended up being twice the size of what it was originally, and I was just mind blown. It was a really cool transformation. Uh, weird tidbit, I do keep their molt, and I do keep their bodies once they pass. Um, but that is for a later video. I love this little guy. You gotta, you gotta take a good look at him. Unless you're a breeder, again, this isn't really going to be um, information that you need, but just something interesting. There is an easy way to sex uh, mantis, uh, especially the spiny flower mantis. Um, females have spines on what they call elytra. Um, the elytra are the top part of the wings once they molt and actually get to that point. Um, they will have little spines on the top of their wings. The difference, again, between male and female, if you want to sex your mantid, um, females have six to seven segments of their abdomen, while males have eight. Females also molt seven times, while males only molt six to reach their final, um, their final body. The scientific name is Pseudocreobotra walbergi. Pseudocreobotra. Pseudo, Pseudocreobotra. Pseudocreobotra walbergi. <clears throat> and that is milk. 
My kitty cat, Milka. What are you doing? Hmm? You Whatever your comfortable temperature is in your house or apartment is probably going to be fine for them. Um, when it comes to feeding, I do typically feed crickets and dubia roaches. The cool thing about dubia roaches is you can keep them in a Tupperware and they're not that challenging. You stow them away, you forget about them, but you still have a feeding source and don't have to go to PetSmart daily. Typically, mantis do want to eat daily or every other day. This is huge. Um, their lifespans are so short that if you aren't feeding them regularly, they won't grow. I have accidentally dropped dubia roaches and the mantis hasn't caught them, so they burrow, get away from me, hide. And I have caught my mantis actually hunting and find dubia roaches in the bottom of its tank. I don't think it's a bad idea to have dubia roaches. They don't scale. They don't climb. They're not uh, an extremely, they're not an extremely terrible feeding source to actually leave in the tank. Some other people may debate that. Some other people may have had bad experiences. I have not. Obviously, I don't have a colony living in the bottom of my tank, but one or two in the bottom I have not had an issue with. When it comes to crickets, it's very important to not let more than one in the tank. The mantis is very aggressive, they are very quick, and typically don't have a problem catching their prey. But if there are two crickets, specifically, in the tank with them, it can become fatal, and I have experienced that as well. Big cat. Mm -mm. I think this. Get it. Stop it. Stop. You're such a fart. Do you just pee on me? do a few different things for housing. Again, these guys are tiny. They're tiny, tiny. You don't wanna to have too massive of an enclosure because the bigger the enclosure, the more likely they are to get lost. So this little box has a plastic bit so that you can see through it and most of the rest of it is mesh. Um, I typically like to keep this in front, obviously for viewing purposes. 
and they can climb up to the top, but then you have a side opening. The side opening is important. They really like to hang out on the top. This little guy is perfect. Um, I think I got this for $25 at a reptile show. Um, the cool thing, you know, you just miss the top of it. Um, again, we have the side opening and this little plastic viewing compartment. These are perfect. This thing is tiny, it's small, and you will think, oh my gosh, they need more room. No, they will get lost. You do not, you don't want too big of an enclosure. It's too much for them. My glass enclosure has a top um, opening, which is kind of unfortunate, but also my current mantid is very attached to me. It's really strange. He doesn't like to eat in this tank. He likes to come out and crawl up onto me and hang out. Stop it. Oh my god, you're a little turd. He doesn't want to look at- <laughs> You're such a little fart nugget. You little beast. Like... I would love to hear about different species that you guys have kept. Um, different experiences. Any type of feedback about this video regarding how I keep my mantis and how you keep your mantis. Uh, what you like best. Uh, whether it be glass, a glass enclosure, or a netted enclosure. And I also want to know who has had the longest living mantis out of you mantis keepers. Not all species in the pet trade specifically are still able to live in the real world. So the important part is to actually try. This guy's ready to go. Don't be a cat.